new video. Whoop whoop. Let's head down to the garage. You ready? You got the key? I got the key. Let's go. And cue the world's longest lift. About 25 minutes later, still no lift. Yep. Yeah, there's actually. Cheers, the cheers world. <laughs> it's here. No, it's going up. Yeah. Up. No, it's wishful you thinking of us. Oh, I pressed up. Yeah. That makes sense though. Yeah. Yay! We've got it. We have got the lift. Why do our neighbors have such nice cars? Maserati Ghibli. The, the Ghibli. So if you may have seen on my Instagram and stuff, we have named the car Selena. In honor of Selena Gomez. That's right, I said it. We did actually do that. Look, Selena's just chilling with the wing up. Casual, no big deal. I'll tell you one annoying thing. Every time I get in the car, the seat goes back to like original spot. I don't know, so I always need to re put my seat in place, which is kind of annoying. It always makes me look like I'm, I'm like, I don't know how to work my car and I don't know how to switch it on. Hello there. You thought we were going, what, what are you doing? Okay, anyways, you thought uh, we were going for a drive, didn't you? But we're not, we just moved the car to uh, this area so I could park like a complete idiot and then do this video for you and you could see the car better. You may notice it's just been cleaned as well. So, this video is about why I chose the Porsche 911 991 Carrera over other cars, such as the F-Type, um, which was probably the main contender. So the F-Type I absolutely love. Uh, I think it's an absolutely fantastic car. I think it looks stunning. It sounds amazing. Um, the only problem with me, really, is that I often find myself needing four seats um, and a bigger boot. So you may know that the F-Type Coupe um, has a decent boot, but the one I want, which is the V8, is a lot more expensive than I could get this one for. Um, so I didn't go for that, and also I only had two seats. Um, and the F-Type V8 convertible has a tiny little boot, so that doesn't work, and it's also got two seats. Whereas this one, I can attempt to show you, has... Okay, let's not kid ourselves, it's not the world's most insane boot, or trunk, or whatever you call it. But, you know, it's a decent amount of space, so that's not too bad. That was one reason why I got this car. Now, let's get all the boring reasons out of the way first. Um, the other reason was these bad boys, which uh, aren't huge, but they're good for short distances when you have, like, three friends with you and you need to go traveling somewhere. Um, another reason is on a more personal level. Uh, my grandfather had a 911. My father had a 911. Um, and so I was like, I wanted to continue the family tradition and get a, a 911, hopefully. Um, so that's fantastic that I've been able to do that. It makes me feel really proud and shows that hard work pays off. Another thing is I actually think that the 991 is one of the best looking generations. Um, I really like the 997 GTSs, which go for around the same price. Um, but I, I thought the 991 was just cooler. This one, as you may know, doesn't have all the specs that I really wanted. So I like the Carrera S because it has the big red brake calipers. And it also has the fancy exhaust system, which makes a bit more noise. But this one sounds pretty good. I'll show you that afterwards. Um, another reason I chose it is because the running costs aren't crazy. Because um, it's only a six-cylinder engine, um, it doesn't use that much fuel. Um, so it makes it somewhat reasonable to use around town. Uh, I haven't bought it to be serviced or anything yet, so I can't really tell you much about that. Um, another thing is they're just cool. I think Porsches have this sort of classy appeal to them, um, which is very cool. And also they're very usable. So the front isn't that low, uh, which LA doesn't have the best road. So you'll see it doesn't have a lift system or anything. But the front means that I can actually get over. Right. That, that's great garage. Just make loads of noise and, and stop my video. But anyways, I'll keep going. I'll just speak a bit louder. Front means I don't really need a lift system. Um, I can get over most bumps without scratching. A couple times you find yourself just gently um, touching the ground, but that doesn't really matter too much. Um, it's also quite a small car. It's not that big, so parking it and everything is quite easy. The visibility is really good. Um, so if I just pop you inside, you can see plenty out the sides and also plenty out the back. So that's something you don't get with, um, with every supercar, which is another nice feature. It's also really comfortable. So if I bring you back to the inside, um, you have everything you need. It has a really good sat-nav system, which maybe if I get in, I can show you it pops up here on this little screen. Don't need that. On uh, this little screen here, I can get my navigation, which is really useful. 
um, so I don't always have to look down there. But it has all the things you really want. So this one's great because it has the Bose sound system, which I really like. You can connect your iPod in the glove box here. There's a USB connector, um, which means that it makes it easy to play all the music you like, which was really important for me. It's got all the basic things, like it's got these cool cup holders, um, which I find quite cool. And not many people know that you can then close this back up, actually. Sort of a separate little area. Um, there's another one here for your passenger. Um, so all these sort of little geeky things I quite like and uh, are useful in a car you're going to use every day because this is my only car. Um, something else is with the weather here, you want to have a sunroof. So this one has the sunroof. Ideally, I'd get the convertible. Um, I don't think it spoils the lines. I think on the 997, the convertible means that it has like this little hump in the back, which I don't like as much. I think it spoils the lines a bit, but in the 991, they've managed to keep it very linear and keep that sort of 911 look, which I really like. So 991, ideally, I'd get a convertible, but I just can find one in time. And yes, another great thing about this one, um, and the reason why I got this gearbox, Around town, this is a great gearbox. You can just stick it in a drive and it takes you anywhere. It's not juddery, it's very, very easy. You barely feel the gear changes, but if you want to, uh, I'll need to start the car. So you can, you can pop it over to the right here and then you have the choice of changing gear using the um, gear shifter knob thing or the paddles, uh, which I really like because it sort of gives you the best of both worlds where you can um, cruise around traffic but you can also have fun when you wanted to. It's also got a great air con, uh, this one has heated seats and all of that. I'm not entirely sure if that's standard but it probably is, you'd hope so. Um, and yeah, I mean overall, basically it was because it was a car, that a sports car that was exciting, that I could use, I could bring my friends in, it had a decent boot, it was usable every day, I wouldn't have to worry about hitting the front splitter. Um, I also wouldn't have to worry about being horribly uncomfortable in it. Uh, and yeah, I just thought, you know what, it's really exciting, keep going in the family tradition and get this. So yeah, I am so happy with this car. Uh, I've got loads of other videos planned, like a POV around LA, that sort of stuff. Um, hopefully I'll be doing another Los Angeles vs uh, London spotting challenge, which will be fun in this car. But yeah, so loads of videos coming. Thanks for all your support about this car. Um, it's meant the world to me. I'm so happy about this. It's a huge deal for me to have this car and I'm just so, so happy and I feel very blessed about it. But yeah, so thank you so much. Please remember to like, share, comment and subscribe and I will see you very soon. Ciao! We think that I've gotten a 911991 Carrera. So I'm here with my buddy Abdullah. We... Ah!